Deep networks are extremely adept at mapping high dimensional noise images to clean low dimensional labels. But graphics tasks require high dimensional outputs. This thesis investigates a number of image to image synthesis problems. We first consider the problem of image colorization. We train a deep network to predict the color channels from the grayscale channel. By concatenating the input and the output, we hope to achieve a vibrant and realistic colorization of the image. Here's our system on this iconic photograph of Yosemite Valley Bridge by Ansel Adams. A fundamental challenge with colorization is the inherent ambiguity. Consider this family photo of my grandparents. While we know the color of my grandmother's skin, we are unsure of her shirt and of the background. A given grayscale photograph can correspond to many color photographs. This space is combinatoric and multimodal in nature. We develop an interface for user-assisted colorization. On the left, the user supplies a grayscale image along with color points for guidance. On the right, a deep network produces a colorized photograph. With just a few clicks, a user is able to quickly explore the space of colorizations. Our system can be easily retooled to use global color histograms instead, enabling color transfer. This allows for a completely different way of exploring the multimodal output space. Next, we investigate the more general problem of image to image translation. Many of these problems are multimodal in nature. For example, given this label map, what might a corresponding facade look like? The previous state of the art method, Pix to Pix, can synthesize a single realistic result. However, many different facades could correspond to this label map. Our method, BiscoGam, is able to generate facades with different colors, textures, and structures. We can also translate this edge map to different shoes, or imagine what this night image might look like in the day. But how does one evaluate the perceptual quality of the results? For example, here, which patch is closer to the middle, the left or the right? While most humans choose the one on the right, traditional metrics such as PSNR and SSIM choose the one on the left. We find that deep feature spaces, supervised, cell-supervised, and unsupervised alike, agree with humans. In summary, this thesis explores the use of deep networks for graphics tasks. In solving the seemingly boutique task of colorization, we find that we actually make unexpected progress in machine learning and graphics, namely the problems of unsupervised learning and predicting human perceptual similarity.